Apex, the founder of Apex. I thought I'd do a little video today going over what markups are. Markups are when the member takes pictures of their posts, they send them into my Facebook group. I personally go over them. I tell you exactly what's wrong with your post, how it's affecting your course, how I'm gonna fix it, and how long it's gonna take. And then I personally help you through video and photo examples. I show you how to trim. I show you how to trim, where to trim, and why to trim. As you learn to trim, you start to understand if I do this, this happens, and this is why it happens. So you learn as you go by me overseeing every one of your trims, um, and that's in the markup group. And then everybody who has markups, they're also in the theory group. And the theory group, I'll go over broad ideas of the week or daily. If I see something that seems to be coming up in people's markups or um, where people are a little confused or something going on, I'll do a broad discussion on that in the theory group. And everybody kind of hangs out over there. So all the paid markup clients kind of hang out over there. And then I have different groups um, where you put your album and you talk directly to me to the album. And what the album does, you end up with a series of photos. So let's say you have a problem here. I can go back to your photos and see exactly the history of that foot. What went on six months ago, a year ago, three months ago, I know exactly what's going on. So it's a relationship that I have with your horse, your hooves, your environment, your diet, your train, and your training. And that's the personalized approach that your horse is gonna have through that album. Um, the trim constantly changes. There's no such thing as a set trim. That's why horses are lame. So on the top of your album, we might be trimming like this, and then the trim, trim will change here as you get through rehab. You get to a maintenance trim, and then it might change again in summer. It might change again in winter. But as you go through a whole year or two years and you watch your hooves, you then develop the relationship with your horse. You start saying, oh, that's why this happened. That's why my horse couldn't pick up the canner last year, but can this year. So um, the album is just a complete visual of that horse. And then a lot of my clients, they trim multiple horses. They get certified and now they have a whole portfolio of what those hooks look like when we started, which is usually pretty bad. And then after trim picks. Um, and you'll see me post all the time, um, before and after of completely rehab horses, or I'll say, oh, you're about halfway through rehab, or look here, this is looking really good. So we get really excited um, with all positive change how quickly it happens. And a lot of times people really have to see the process. Like everybody knows what a beautiful hoof looks like and I show those examples, but I also pose somewhat in between rehab and what that awkward stage looks like when a lot of trimmers would panic and just cut it all off again. Um, so the album is key to success with Apex. Um, that you learn why the hoof does what it does, what time of year, how movement and diet, and you learn what to trim, when and why, and when not to trim, when and why. You learn what lames a horse, what doesn't lame a horse. Um, so that's pretty much how markups work. Uh, a lot of my members have made friends with other members. I can have one certified trimmer or just a member go hang out with another member and help them along and that's really great if you can't get to me personally um, so everybody in the group is extremely supportive we're all here to help each other um, and once you learn um, to trim it doesn't take very long at all to keep your uh, your hose looking nice and performing well. Uh, my horses this winter went three months without a trim. 
So once you rehab, um, the hooves are very low maintenance. A lot of horses that come in to me are very unbalanced. So we're doing lots of little small trims, maybe once a week. In the winter time, it's usually, I think right now everybody's kind of on a three to three week schedule. It depends. Um, but as the hooves heal and rehab, you spend far less time trimming, more time riding and doing things that are more fun than being under a horse. But um, in the long time, it saves you a lot of stress, it saves you a lot of money, and it saves you a lot of time, and it saves your horse. So if you've been hanging around looking at the rehabs and wondering, oh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm ready for that, take the plunge, it's worth it. Um, I make it extremely easy, there's no stress, everybody makes mistakes, but the mistakes you make will not lame your horse, and I'm here for you. Um, I have people that have serious, right now my back is out and I'm trimming. I sit in a chair. I've done way too many trims. <laughs> I say every horse I rehab, I have a trigger point in my back. Um, and a lot of times when you first start trimming, just like with anything, it's difficult at first, but once you um, understand the process and uh, understand how to use the tools and stuff it goes really fast so if you can remember your first time you ever rode a horse you weren't that good um, same with the trims but trims are a lot easier to learn than riding a horse if you can ride a horse drive a car uh, trims are not difficult at all a lot of times people try to make it seem like it's difficult but it's not it's very easy um, so if you've been thinking about markups Going into spring is a really good time to start uh, to repair some of the issues you had over the winter time and the horses are going to be out on pasture and moving around. Um, you can keep on top of the trim far better than a four to six week schedule if you had a farrier. So you sign up for the markups, you get your tools, everybody's here for you. I'll show you the first couple trims and then the theory comes as you trim. If you have any more questions about markups, you can ask below in comments and I'll answer your question.